What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the Adidas Ultraboost 4.0 NYC. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. A couple days ago, Adidas actually had me out to this crazy event in Manhattan where they were actually giving out free pairs of Ultra Boost and the person giving out the Ultra Boost was Action Bronson. That was like a surreal experience. It's already crazy enough going to Adidas events, but actually having Action Bronson there and having a chance to talk to him it was just a crazy, crazy day. I actually did a vlog on the whole event, so if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to click the link in the description below or wait until the end of the video, there'll be a card there as well. But of course, the sneaker that they were giving out at the event was no ordinary Ultra Boost. It was actually a New York City version of the shoe. So without further ado, here it is, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 NYC. <laughs> First off, if you were wondering, yes, this shoe is a New York City themed sneaker, but it is getting a much wider release on September 4th. So if you're trying to grab a pair of these for yourself, they will be available at adidas.com and at select Adidas retailers. There are some small differences between the New York pop-up edition and the regular edition, but I'll get into those when we actually get to them on the sneaker. Starting off on the upper of the shoe, you've got this Ultra Boost 4.0 Prime Knit construction. It's the same knit pattern that you have in all the other Ultra Boost 4.0s, which in my opinion is probably the best performance-wise. It fits to your foot really well. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. It's also very, very breathable because they added some more ventilation holes on the toe. One thing I really love about this sneaker is that the entire colorway was inspired by bodegas. And the way you can tell is that the upper has this really nice multicolor pattern woven in that's a little bit more subtle than previous multicolor Ultra Boosts. The color scheme is primarily made up of blacks, pinks, yellows, and blues. And this multicolor color scheme obviously references the colorful interiors of New York City bodegas. I said this in that vlog video I was talking about, but bodegas and corner stores were like my favorite spots in New York City. They have everything you could ever need. They have groceries, they have drinks, they have alcohol, it's amazing. I've spent many a paycheck at my local corner store and they love me there, obviously. Um, but no, seriously, every day before work I'd go in for my daily coffee and then after work I'd come in for my Arizona iced tea. I spent a lot of time in those bodegas. I know I'm getting like way too deep on this now, but I've made some pretty good friends out of people who actually work at the bodega. The store owner at my bodega has actually given me relationship advice and life advice and even interview advice actually. In fact, I think he's the reason I got my last job. Come to think of it, I should probably be spending more money there than I do spend. Regardless, the inspiration behind this shoe is awesome. Not only is the inspiration behind this shoe awesome, but the colorway itself looks really good. This darker multicolor pattern is a lot easier to rock with things than regular multicolor patterns because it's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more laid back. As you continue up the shoe, you get to one of those pop-up exclusive details, which is this nice little gold touch at the bottom of the laces. In subway style writing, it's got three stripes, love NYC, which I think is a really cool touch. Of course, the shoe comes with flat black laces, which I think looks really good with this upper. At the end of the laces, you've got these little off-white or light gray lace tips and then you've got your little 3M Adidas tag at the top of the tongue. Continuing back on the shoe you've got your matte black midfoot cage which I think ties in really nicely with the rest of the upper. Inside the shoe you've got your standard Ultra Boost sock liner in black and then of course you've got a black insole with that really sort of weird boost text which I'm just not in love with. As for fit this NYC Ultra Boost fits just like any other Ultra Boost 4.0 which for me is true to size. For you it may be something different so if you've never owned a pair of Ultra Boost before I definitely suggest going down to your local sneaker store trying on a pair first before you buy the these to make sure the sizing is right for you. Continuing back on the shoe, you get to this ridged, rough black heel cup. On the lateral side, you've got Ultra Boost written in this metallic silver. Moving down the shoe, you get to the Ultra Boost namesake, which of course is this full Boost midsole. Since 2015, when I got my first pair of Ultra Boosts, I loved Boost cushioning. It's one of the most comfortable cushions you can possibly buy, especially for a lifestyle sneaker, and I just, I can't get enough of it. Super soft, super comfortable, I love it. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this black webbed Continental outsole. As I'm sure you know by now, Continental is the same Continental that makes tires. And if you were still wondering what the other NYC exclusive detail was, it was actually the box that the shoe came in. It comes in a bodega style food takeout box, which I think is awesome. The pairs dropping on September 4th won't have those little exclusive details, but overall, it's still a great looking sneaker. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that the Ultra Boost is one of my favorite silhouettes ever made. I think it's incredibly comfortable. I think it looks great. And multicolored colorways, especially when they're done right, are always winners. That pretty much wraps up the video for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Ultra Boost 4.0 in this NYC or 
more multicolor colorway, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. Huge shout out to Adidas for having me out to the event and sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't seen the video where I picked up this pair of shoes and met Action Bronson, which was unbelievably insane, make sure you do that by clicking the link at the end of the video or clicking the link in the description below. But as usual, thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.